Tender start. This is where for Kennan, if she can get a few swings at the ball, really get the muscles loose, this could be a big help receiving first in this match. Let me, let me, let me. to generate as often as possible. Very tight on the baseline, stepping in immediately, taking the initiative and the authority. Nicely around the baseline. He's a good competitor as well. Use. Brings it to Deuce. Sometimes it's your friend and sometimes it's not. Shut up, always turns the call on the right. Our first chase review of this match. It's close. It's very close. But it's out. Advantage Kenny. Shut up about us. Two challenges for me. Adjustment from Sharapova, Deuce. bringing her shots in, giving herself just a little bit more margin away from the sidelines. Still plenty of pace and depth.
such a big difference when Sharapova Advantage. came in that first Shut serve in. Obviously, great placement is a factor as well. She plays from such a stronger position behind the first serve. That ball had some serious hang time, didn't it? It did. Game, shut up over. So two break points saved, and a service hold to open the match for Maria Fifteen. Sharapova. And for Sophia Kennan, one thing that she'll come to uh, face quickly is that against top players, you can't not take advantage of opportunities to break serve. And, you know, it wasn't a whole lot that Kennan did wrong, but she wasn't as aggressive as she could have been in those points. Obviously, the match is, is young. We were just starting. She's making a lot of balls, Kennan is, and you know, now on serve, maybe she has relaxed enough playing a long return game. Relaxed enough to start out with some good first serves, but she needs to move it around the box. Doesn't have a big serve. Sophia Kennan to serve. Doesn't want that serve to sit up in Sharapova's strike zone. Lob and Sharapova not allowing it. Kennan's dad, her coach, Alex. Old. You know, your coach can tell you a thousand times, you can tell yourself a million times. This is the same size tennis court as you've played on every day as long as you can remember. It's just like practice. Yeah, you can tell yourself that a lot. It's not. But it's just <laughs> different. It is very different. And it's something about obviously the nerves that creep in because 30, you want to win, because you understand the opportunity, the moment, all of those things that aren't quite there when you're practicing or playing on the smaller stages. tell by some of the facial expressions the uh, the nervous energy that's still there and yet to be dissipated and then trying to work it out and settle in and adjust to the pace that's coming at her Kennan's had a great summer. She made this 30, U.S. Open 14. again this year by virtue of the strength she's had in uh, the ITF tournaments all around the United States. From Stockton, California, where she was a winner. <laughs> to being the finalists in Lexington and Orlando, making yes. the semifinals in Sacramento and Dothan and Rancho Santa Fe, and she had a, a, a very solid summer. It's been all about growth for Kennan, and she's trying to take advantage of every opportunity. <laughs> K 
McKinnon did well down break point uh, to come up with a good up first up. serve. Very high level play, but then this point here after jamming Sharapova wasn't quite ready for the reply. And the lob just hasn't worked thus far. working hard with her feet to stay Use. aggressive and when she had the opportunity getting a great angle off that backhand up the middle getting the angle not an easy shot to hit Sharapova making herself take those lobs out of the Advantage. air. Advantage, Sharapova. Not allowing Kennan to reset the point. Taking away time and space. Third break point of her opening service game. Shut up, Cannon. Two games to love. Gives it up. First set. And Maria Sharapova has a quick service break in this third round match. Well, you can see how Cannon has gotten through her first couple of rounds. She's a solid player. Doesn't make too many mistakes in terms of her shot selection. She's got a nice serve in terms of placement and plays well behind her serve. This is just a slightly higher level that she's competing against here. Kennan ranked 139th in the world. First Love round match, 15. she beat the 34th ranked player, 32nd seed Lauren Davis of the United States in straight sets. Took about two hours, though, 7-5, seven, 7-5. Five, seven, five. Then beat uh, qualifier Sasha Vickery, who's 154th ranked. That one took two hours and 38 minutes. What I'm saying is she spent a lot of time on the court so far this <laughs> first week of the no. U.S. Open. Maria has as well. Right. Right. Sharapova 242 against Halep and 219 against Babosh. Thirty fifteen. Sharapova has had to get through better players in terms of ranking. But for Kennan, it shows you her ability to compete, her embracing of the challenge out there on court, working her way through tough situations. That should bode well for her in her career, the youngster. <laughs> Old. Remember, remember how old you were when you first came to the U.S. Open? I mean, I could look it up, but you're sitting right here. I was 14. Really? I was 14. When was the first time you played? I wasn't pro yet, but yes. Yeah. When's the first time you played in the big stadium? That's a good question. I have to <laughs> we have time. 40-13. I'm trying to remember the first time. 
I'd have to look it up. I remember a couple of tough matches against Venus here mm -hmm. on this stadium, but I'd have to look up the first time. beyond her years there, yes. staying calm, not panicking. Sharapova made a great get in the middle. Kennan just gives her one better. Calm as you please right here. Using all the court. I mean, every inch. Creates a little opportunity for Kennan. Kennan. Didn't get a solid base. Sharapova there and pulls it well long. Let for service. Press service. Service break. Sophia Kennan and a chance to get back on serve in her first match at Arthur Ashe Stadium. I will see your service break and give you one right back. After giving up the service break on her first service game of the match, Sophia Kennan breaks Maria Sharapova, now serving here at 1 2. some truth to the saying that you don't fully settle into a match until you've held serve and that's the position Kennan is in now. Selection Love going to the drop 13. shot. Sharapova in great position, saw it, and it wasn't a great drop shot yeah. on top of it. So an opportunity for Sharapova to get the break back. A little bit of an opportunity. Love 30.
0 for 2 on drop shots. Love He's just 14. trying to change it up and mix it up, Kenan is. And not a bad drop shot, much better than the previous one, but she wasn't ready to follow it up, didn't what hadn't decided where she wanted to go with the shot. Fifteen fourteen. So one break point saved, but still two more to try and work through. First serve percentage not very good right now. Show you a drop shot. <laughs> That's how you do it. Sharapova gets the service break and right back eight. and leads in this first one. set three first games seven. to one over Sophia Kennan. USOpen.org is your online home for point by point live scoring and real time stats and draws. Visit the official tournament site at USOpen.org. to the point that you aren't fully love. into a match until you hold serve. For Kennan, she was given a bit of a gift, the break that she got on the Sharapova serve, and Sharapova now settling back down and in control once again. Second second. Fifteen That's already three double faults for Sharapova in this uh, match. First two came in the very first game of the match. <laughs> Sharapova follows the double fault up with an ace. And that's the way to negate a double. So four aces, three double faults, and a partridge in a pear tree <laughs> in this first set. Another errant forehand from Sharapova and just doesn't have a solid base. Is it staying down and through that shot? A little bit of happy feet, as we would call it. Not in a good way. Mm. It's not a very good moniker. We'll have to come up with something else because generally when we say that, they're not happy about the way they just played. <laughs> right. It's counterintuitive. Mm. <laughs> Four you want to have a stable base and get the ground force reaction, so you want little steps until it's time to contact the ball. And if you have happy feet, then it's back. I'm with you. <laughs> the use 
13 unforced errors for the match for Sharapova. It's funny, you look at the stats monitor, just because of Maria's aggressive style of play, she's got 15 winners and 13 unforced errors, and Kennan has zero winners and only two unforced errors. <laughs> up the unforced errors with aggression and winners, Shut up of them. you can offset. And there's a certain number of unforced errors you will have as an aggressive player. Those are the shots that you kind of wonder about right now in this match. There have yes. been a number of those types of points from Sharapova where she's been in control. That last service game where she got broken, clear evidence of it. A couple of bad misses out of nowhere. was asked after her win over Bamos in the Kenny. second round about the state of her game, and she said, uh, summing up a, a rather lengthy answer in a short period of time, that it's going to take a little bit of time where she gets back to just playing off of rhythm and instinct instead of having to think about things so much. She That's just, accurate. She just hasn't had a lot of court time in the last year. <laughs> And that's the value of having matches. And you, know, you see Sharapova's game, and it's still pretty much there. I mean, she still you know, has all the components. But when you haven't been playing and you aren't in a rhythm of matches, of winning, it can be tough to manage these moments under pressure for anyone. Advantage, Sharapova. Maria also was asked about that sleeve she's wearing on her right arm. Was that some sort of fashion statement? And she said, no, no, I don't like this look at all. This is for function, not fashion. That reaching backhand to close out the service game. Maria Sharapova with a four games to one lead in Arthur Sharapova Ashe Stadium. Four games to one, first set. She's up one break, but she's broken Kennan's serve now. twice. She just gave one up herself which is the only game that Kennan has won in this match so far. It's Sharapova's agent sitting way up <laughs> in the top section. Well, he's supposed to have the, the bigger picture view, right? <laughs> Pretty love. Kennan from Pembroke. Yeah, there he is. He's got the, got the skyline view. Max Eisenbud there. He is at the very top. <laughs> How did they find him? We have eyes everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> That's impressive. Oh! Talked about Kennan being from Pembroke 14. Pines, Florida. Not familiar where that is. Uh, Fort Lauderdale is in Broward County and right along the ocean side. If you go inland just a little bit from Fort Lauderdale, you'll reach Pembroke Pines.
that Full last turn. 50 notwithstanding. Kennan has put herself in good position here in this service game. A couple of early misses. Sharapova has helped. This would be a great boost to Kennan to hold serve here. out of the Sharapova book and taking that lob out of the air. So she gets her first service hold and game win at 1-4 uh, to make it 2-4. Now she's in business. First hold of the match. Fifteen. Double fault number four for Maria. And now an interesting development here after holding serve. Kennan now with a little opening to get another break. Challenge here. Sophia Kennan. And a chase review. Let's see if the angle on the serve was just right or a little too much. Just right. 15 30. Penning has two challenges remaining. Break point, break point, excuse me, for Sophia Kennan. In part because of the timing of it. Saves one break point. But still some more work to do here. Tipping the net here. Huh. Really? Yeah, that's just bad really? luck. Really? <laughs> 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 A little bit of J 
justice there for Kennan. Out of Kennan getting another great point opportunity. Save the first one. Couldn't get to the second one. Now Sharapova back at even. Slice should have moved forward, didn't, and it was Kennan taking the net away. It's already the eighth breakpoint opportunity for Kennan. She's converted one. <laughs> that in the match, this breakpoint number four in this game. Not only does she have her first service hold, she's got her second service break for the match. Sophia Kennan serving at 3 4. Shut up, Omari. Four games for three. First side. U.S. Open meets Sophia Kennan, an 18 year old from Pembroke Pines, Florida, who has just broken Maria Sharapova's serve for a second time in this first set and serving. Here at 3 4. She'll be happy with this chase review, but she may have been blocked by the post holding up the net from seeing the real outcome. It looked like it faded a little bit wide, this drop shot attempt. Here it comes. Love 15. Kennan has one challenge remaining. That's one remaining for this set. It's a good play by Sharapova. Not the easiest Fifteen shot to time. Moving forward, trying to take the ball out of the air and hitting a swinging volley. There's a lot that can go wrong there. The timing has to be almost perfect. So a lot can go wrong, and it only takes a little to get that result. Oh. 
Yeah, it's really interesting to look at some of the numbers. Cannon with two winners and four unforced errors. Sharapova with 20 winners and 21 unforced errors. That's why Sharapova is still slightly ahead in this match because of the winners. It's offsetting. I think a bigger problem with the errors is that she's missing Sharapova by a large margin, and it's giving Kennan that additional belief. When you see your opponent just miss by a little bit, you think, oh, the next time they're going to make that. But when they miss outside the alley sometimes, it gives you more hope. Sharapova is one of the most popular players and will get a crowd behind her, but uh, these folks that came out on a Friday night also appreciating the effort of the young 18-year-old American who, after a very shaky start, has gotten right back into this one. Before Labor Day weekend or the start of Labor Day weekend, and this crowd wants to see a great match. I mean, it's early, yeah. and they are raring to go. And this young American is really putting up a fight. It's early by New York standards, right? <laughs> the city that never sleeps. Never sleeps. Fifteen. This drop shot, again, right here, not great. Just much too high, giving Sharapova too much time. I think that ball had some spin that bounced up higher than she was expecting when she set the drop shot. I think that was almost coming up her racket when she it went was. after it. Yeah. Drop shot off of a ball coming at you with so much pace that is driving through the court. And Kennan hasn't quite gotten the feel of that shot yet, but it's clearly it's a shot she's comfortable hitting. She's gone to it a number of times. 30 15 here for Sharapova. I have to be impressed with the battle and the fight that Kenan is putting up here. And she's making Sharapova do exactly what she needs to do, and that's win points. Kenan not giving in easily.
Long rally in favor of Sharapova and the service hold. 5-4 in the first. Sharapova leads five games to four. First half. Fifteen love. Some of these misses from Sharapova are as a result of the speed and court coverage of Kennan, who has anticipated well. And they forced Sharapova to sometimes go for more than she's comfortable going for. Third oh. is a nicely placed serve. 99 miles per hour, not the fastest, but impeccable in hitting the target there. There are not a lot of players that could handle that high ball dropping and hitting the swinging volley the way Sharapova can. shot attempt gives Kennan a couple of game point opportunities. Even this first set up at five all. Hard to believe that this is just Kennan's fourth tour level main draw. And three of those four have been here at the U.S. Open. The two matches she's won this week to get to this third round, the first two wins. Yeah. And there's a game win. And five apiece in this opening set. Remember, it started out with a service break and a consolidation by Five Sharapova. And uh, Kennan found herself behind by two games right out of the get-go. Sharapova was also up 4-1. And Kennan doing a great job to steady herself and put herself back into contention for this first set. Fifteen love. There's times where Kennan has tried to flatten the ball out just a little bit more, trying to get just a little more pace, as she did on that last backhand, just missing long. Fifteen old. This 
continuing to be a little off the mark when trying for those white lines on the side. Pressing a little too much, even for her. Kathy Rinaldi there in the center, Fed, U.S. Fed Cup captain. She is working overtime, catching up with all the matches of the American players. Fifteen. Getting into a couple of those moments here where the pressure swings back and forth from one side of the net to the other. Game. The pressure now swings over to Sophia Kennan, who Shut has to hold line. serve here Six to stay in this first line. set after Perception. she's fought her way back from behind. It is 5-6 against Maria Sharapova. A little pressure moment here. Serving at 5-6 in the first. Worked hard to get back into this first set after a slow start. Doesn't want to throw it away now. Love Not the start Kennan would have wanted to this service game with the double fault, first two points of a game so critical, especially serving under pressure. Serving to stay in this set. That was a big point for Kennan. After the double fault, splitting the first two points of this game, maintaining an even kill. Keel is <laughs> the word I was looking for. Just a little, little of your Cajuns just <laughs> slipped in there. Sharapova has been searching for at times. 15, 13. Inside out, that ball into Sharapova's right hip. Right here, sending it off, working with the feet to get around. Sharapova. Third hill. Enforcing the miss on the very next ball. Oh, 
Wow. That's big time hitting. Put a little paint on that tennis ball. 14, 13. Look how well Cannon stayed down and behind this backhand here. Just trusted the stroke and the shot. So a set point for Sharapova here. Shaky at times, but got it done. Maria Sharapova is up the first set in the third round of the U.S. Open. Maria Sharapova survives the first set to win 7-5. And now we begin the second against Sofia Kennan. With that usual... Second set, Sharapova to serve. Late New York night rush of some people leaving in some of the lower seats and some from the upper seats rushing in to fill the void. So if you were making a um, coaching adjustment for Sharapova, what would you have told her between the two sets? Well, I would say you need to get your first serve, per first serve percentage up a bit, number one. Give yourself a little more margin early on the break points or game point opportunities. Just slightly. Pull it in, but keep hitting the way you're hitting. You're doing great. That was me as the coach. Too. Yes. Coach Rubin for Kennan. What would you have told her if you could? 15, 13. For Kennan, she's got to move the ball more, try to dictate whenever she can with her court positioning. She doesn't hit the ball quite as big from the ground, but she's been so good defensively. Big points, look to dictate with your court positioning. Third hill. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh! 
40-13. So the winner of this one will get uh, an opponent who had a pretty good run here at the U.S. Open a year ago, Anastasia Sevastova. Came through against Donna Vekic. Two sets. Yes. Nicely done by Kennan. And that's the type of aggressive point that she needs to play at every opportunity. Sometimes going behind Sharapova as she did there, but more often than not hitting into the open court and working the halves. Advantage, shut up over. Uh oh. We lost one. That looks uncomfortable. Mm. <laughs> Game, shut up over. And the ace to finish up. The opening game, game win second in set. this second set for Maria Sharapova. And that's the type of game Sharapova would have wanted after winning a tough first set, coming back, immediately holding serve, maintaining some of that positive momentum. So this match tonight wrapping up play in the bottom half of the draw in the third round tomorrow the top half of the draw will play its third round matches we will see Karolina Pliskova Agnieszka Radvanska Coco Vandaway all playing here on Arthur Ashe Stadium in the day session and then Madison Keys against Alina Viznina in the night session that will be the second match of the night session on Saturday 15 love Roger Federer also playing in the night session tomorrow against Feliciano Lopez. This is where Kennan needs to maintain the level of focus. She's played at a high level, mm -hmm. but she's not used to playing at this type of level for extended periods of time. And can't afford a dip. Fifteen. Thirteen. Tape on the left forearm of Sharapova. That's one of the areas that she struggled physically. Ouch. It looks like Kinesio tape. 15 foot a bit of ribbing on the underside, the sticky part of the tape, and it often helps with blood flow, with alleviating any type of pain or soreness. Great points for Sharapova. Game, shut up. And a double fault to salt away, away the service game. break for Maria second Sharapova. Set. Second verse, much like the first. Yeah, this is exactly the start that Sharapova got in the first set. And at this point, it was Kennan who was able to get the break back. Can she do so again? Yeah. 
15 love. solid serve so difficult against Maria when she gets a lead she is a great front runner has so much confidence in her abilities I'm just looking at this section of the draw someone who I have had in the back of my mind after watching the way she played over the summer Julia Gerges made it through into the fourth round today Gerges really playing solid tennis across the U.S. Open series in the summer. And, um, she, here she is in the in the fourth round. She's going to play someone else who's played incredibly solid tennis over the course of the uh, U.S. Open series. And it's been really nice to see Sloane Stephens making her way back into contending form. She's playing such confident tennis. Stephens is. That'll be a great match. Big yeah. hitters, both of them. Stevens just a slightly better mover. Let's see if that holds sway. Let us second service. And after today's matches, you've got Venus Williams against Carla Suarez Navarro in a couple of days' time, and Petra Kvitova against Garbina Muguruza. That's another great matchup. Won't it be? Oh, Taylor. So the wheels have come off slightly for Kennan. Adding to the unforced error count. He has lost some of these points in very quick fashion. the outside and Maria Sharapova with a three games to love lead second set Sharapova leads three games to love second set and by one set to love Double faulted four times in the match, but two of them already in this set. It's only three games and a change in a shade old. Unofficial measurement probably ran about 100 yards in that one point. <laughs> Kinnan has covered a lot of ground over the course of this match. Legend. That was a bullet down the line. That's a 
good point. Settling in, Kennan did and got more There's of an no. angle. Moving Sharapova, getting her stretched out. Can't let Sharapova hit on balance and at will. stretched out, being just a little more aggressive. Service hold, first one of this set for Sophia Kennan. And it is 3-1, Sharapova up a set as well for Maria. USOpenShop.org is the official shop for the 2017 US Open merchandise you'd like to have. Choose from the largest selection of 2017 tees, caps, towels, outerwear, and collectibles at USOpenShop.org. Champagne, anyone? A little too early to celebrate a win. The match isn't over yet. <laughs> it's always a win for the spectators. Uh, second service. just a little more Love plugged in now. It helps to have one per service game held and gotten on the board in this set. But she is back with a little bit more focus. It's that little letdown coming out of the chair after losing that first set and not getting over the disappointment quick, quickly enough. And what's important about this is Kennan keeping just a little more pressure in this match. And at love 30, Sharapova really up against it, trying to maintain the break of serve. Opportunity here for Kennan with three break points to try and get Love back into this Courtney. set like she was able to get back into the first after a slow start. like that unless you know where it's going that was right down the tee I love watching players have it's right Maria with the stare and the two bounces Kennan when she's defending walks to the corner taps it with her foot and then measures her steps back <laughs> to get in position where she wants to be Oh. 
Game Kennedy. Double faulted away and gave the service break back. Can Kennan get back into the second set? Set up away, three games to two. Second set. And by one set left. Inside Arthur Ashe Stadium, Sophia Kennan, Pembroke Pines, Florida, 18 years old, serving to Maria Sharapova, trailing by a set. Love 15. Trying to get back even in this second. to the lob and that hasn't been a successful play thus far tonight. Third double fault of the set for Kennan. I was just looking at some of the numbers, thinking that the first serve percentage, she started off very slowly in this set, but it had started to come back up a little bit. And yeah, it's still too low right now. Shut up, Russell, into the call on the right baseline. The ball was called in. I think she has a point. We'll see what Chase Review says. Oh, caught it. 15 14. Sharapova has two challenges remaining. Thirty fourteen. That's a nice serve. Great placement. That wide serve is sometimes underrated. Drawing Sharapova out into the doubles alley. Trying not to give the service break right back. Service break right back. Sharapova, Sharapova four games to two. Four games to two. Second set. It's a very veteran game. Sharapova playing high percentage tennis, but still forcing the action. And for Sharapova, she is getting just barely over 50% of first serves in for the match. Oh, 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 oh. 
High level stuff, entertaining. What a point. Kenan working overtime. Up and back, up and back low. again. Nice little hop from Sharapova in the end. guy up <laughs> that was sleeping over there. That didn't wake him up. I don't know what would. <laughs> center of the court. Fourteen, fifteen. And if you have to force your opponent to come up with those types of serves, you're doing your job out there. That's just too good from Sharapova. Game Five games to two. Maria Sharapova within one game of Sharapova moving on eight. to the Five fourth round two, of the U.S. Second. Open. And by one set to love. Sharapova has broken Kennan's serve five times in the match. A sixth will finish the match. Love 15. Sometimes the court is your friend. Especially if you're being aggressive, you can sometimes get those rolls to go your way. Hit it hard enough, close enough to the top, <laughs> right. right? Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh, great serve. Say this about Kennan. She is a bundle of energy. Yes. Isn't she? Constantly moving. Yeah. Let's push this. to a lot of people, and she is still fighting for this match. Oh. 30, 40. Yeah, that's a tough, 
time yeah. with a double fault. So match point. Sharapova is on to the fourth round of the U.S. Open.